Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today Trupanion, pet insurance for your pet. I'm gonna go over premiums, deductibles, pros and cons. Let's go ahead and dive into the website and let's break things down. First off, Trupanion, medical insurance for the life of your pet. Important thing right here guys, underwritten by American Pet Insurance Company, you always wanna make sure that any pet insurance you go with has an underwriter to make sure that they are very legitimate and that they will pay their claims. Next off guys, we see they are available 24 seven, which is awesome. And I went ahead and I already tried their, their messaging portion and it does work quite well. I had a really nice lady talk to me for some questions I had. So remember, the deductible is what you pay before they start covering you. So once your deductible is paid, your policy begins being paid at 90%, which is super cool. And then uh, the one thing I, I, I like, guys, is kind of cool right here. Your opinion policy is unique because we offer a lifetime per condition deductible. You pay a deductible only when your pet develops a new condition. What this means is, like, you think about how human health insurance, like, it, you pay out per year. Like, let's say my wife has a baby and we pay a bunch of money and then next year it restarts, right? I know, our first child was born in December. That was amazing. We got, we, we paid for everything the whole year. It didn't reset on us. How this works with Trupanion is, if you're a doggy, let's say they get diabetes. You pay your deductible, which is the money you pay out, and then click, it clicks over, and then they pay for 90% of problems from diabetes lifelong super darn cool because like a chronic ailment a chronic problem it could be lifelong chronic right so they're gonna pay for it which is super cool however what this also means is the negative side is every time you have a new problem you're paying that deductible over and over so fluffy gets gastroenteritis boom deductible now they're covering in the future fluffy gets pancreatitis boom you're paying it acl boom you're paying it you're paying it to start off every single time, but then it clicks over and it's covered for a lifetime. Now, I, I wasn't sure about this because I was like, man, like, what if my doggy tears his ACL? Now they're gonna pay for that, right? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna pay for it. They're gonna cover it lifelong. But what if he tears the right and then he tears the left? Because we all know that dogs that tear one ACL are likely to tear the other one. So I went ahead and talked to Cat on their messaging option. And Kat got a hold of me in probably about a minute or two after I messaged her. And she was really nice. And she told me there's a handful of conditions that if if one side goes and the other side's gonna go, they'll actually pay for it. It's under the same problem, which is amazing. So this really elevated them high on my list as being a good option. So for example, let's say your doggy tears their ACL and they need a TPO low. In most states, guys, it's like four or $5,000 to fix that. And now you're like, oh my gosh, the other side's gonna blow. I pay that deductible now. You know what's cool? You don't. It's actually covered as, um, as a problem that's already developed in your dog. So they'll cover the other side too. And they cover that with cherry eye. And you can see right there in the message with her, it carries, it covers multiple things that could happen on both sides. So right there, big plus for Trupanion. That's really cool. Honestly, I'm surprised they're actually covering it like that. No payout limits, that's important. A lot of, a lot of offers have limits, like 5,000, 10,000 a year, or per problem. This has unlimited payouts, which is very cool. And, okay, so let's go ahead and go to pet insurance for dogs, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and get a quote. And my dog's name is gonna be Spot. Okay, and it's going to be a male, and it's going to be a dog, and oh, what kind of dog should we have, guys? Let's do, oh, American Mastiff, that sounds great. Pet's age, we're going to say we're young, about a year. We have been spayed already, let's say, and is your pet an assistant for any th uh, therapy pet? No, and let's get a quote. As you guys can see, this is like really, really easy to get a quote really fast. And all I did is put a couple things in there. Boom, quote. Okay, so a couple things to note, guys. Um, for any reason you want to cancel your coverage, just let us know. Full refund, very cool. Okay, guys, so your premiums are going to be your monthly stuff, what you pay every month to carry the plan. And as you can see, as your premium goes up, you have a small deductible. As it goes down, you have a higher deductible. Literally, you're going to Vegas and you're and you're and you're and you're gambling. Um, you're saying my dog is gonna get sick, or it's not gonna get sick. If you're like, man, my dog doesn't get sick, you should be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna pay my premium regularly and I'm gonna pay a small deductible because I believe it's gonna get sick. If you're like, my dog's not gonna get sick, you're gonna pick the lower one, right? Because if we don't get sick, you're paying very little. But if we do get sick, 
your deductible is what you're going to pay at that time of ailment. Most people tend to pick most common is this right here. Now, one thing I want to show you guys is, as you guys can see, I picked a really big doggy, right? And as you can see, my monthly premium is beefy. 214, 371. These are big premiums. But the thing is, guys, let's say my doggy tears its ACL, I have to pay five grand. That's what's happening here. They're trying to acknowledge the fact that I picked a Mastiff, and if he blows his ACL out, they're going to have to pay big bucks. So, let's go ahead and back up really quickly. Now, let's say, let's say I wanted, I love my Boston Terriers. Let's say I had a Boston Terrier. Check this out. Okay, you guys ready for this? It should be way less. Look at that. It all depends, guys, on your dog, your dog breed. Different dog breeds have different problems. Some dogs are more problematic. Other dogs have less problems. It's going to be costing less. So the insurance companies kind of hedging their bets for how serious the problem is going to be and how much they could pay out. So you can see here, oh, look at this. My Boston Terrier. Mm. My Boston Terrier is only... 70 bucks a month compared to my other one, which was, what was it, 200 something, 300 something, and the high end, I'm at 117. So, you know, it's one of those things where, guys, if this was my doggy, let's say, and let's say my Boston Terrier got a cherry eye, and I'm like, okay, I had pet insurance ahead of time, you must have the insurance before the problem develops. Always, guys, you can't get it later. They state that here, too. If you must have the insurance for a certain amount of time before they get sick or have an injury or whatever, and it's stipulated in your plan. But for example, guys, in this case, let's say I pick this one right here. I'm gonna pay 70 bucks a month as my premium, and then if we get sick, I make 200 or have a problem. So when the doggy rolls in and the cherry eye, remember these very rarely cover office visits. Office visits are covered by you guys, the pet owners. Office visits can be very expensive, $100 down to like $30. Depends on where you live and where you're going. But office visits are very, very rarely covered by pet insurance. So they're going to cover the medical problems, the surgery, the hospitalization, all that fun stuff. So in this case, my dog needs surgery, has cherry eye. I believe I want to do surgery on it. So we're really going to cover $200, and then it clicks over to being covered by 90% by your opinion. Very cool. Now, they do have this vet direct pay to pay right away. Most of the time, people are paying for it up front, submitting the claim, and then getting paid back later. So what's going to happen? I pay $200, and then they click over, pay 90% of the rest of the bill, and I just did really good on saving money. Now, let's see the other cherry I goes. Here's the cool part. I'm not paying a deductible because, as you can see in this conversation with Kat, this is one of those conditions where I've already diagnosed it before we started treating it, and now True Opinion's like, we gotcha. We're going to cover 90% of it. Very cool. Even if it's like three years later and other insurance policies are clicking over and restarting you, True Opinion's like, we know you have this problem. We are covering you. We've already covered you. We're covering you lifelong. We've got your back. Very, very cool. Here it is. Exam fees. Exam fees are hardly ever covered. Do not be surprised by that, guys. Um, any taxes aren't covered. Wellness and preventive care. Remember, wellness and preventive care, like your vaccines, your heart room test, uh, heart guard, next guard, all your preventives. These are things that are consistent and charged the same way every time. So pet insurance doesn't cover those because we're expecting those charges. And they really aren't going to save you any money by doing them because they're expected. So things that are for healthy dogs do not count in a situation. Uh, pre-existing conditions. Pre-existing conditions do not count. I just had, I have people asking a lot of time, I should get pet insurance. After you get diagnosed, it doesn't help. What you should do is go into your veterinary office with your puppy, your new dog, get a diagnosis healthy. And then submit for pet insurance and show that they're healthy. You have a clean slate. If anything happens, then you're covered. So get them diagnosed as healthy and then submit to be covered. One of the things I mentioned, guys, has a five-day waiting period on injuries. Injuries, five days, so they don't cover it for five days. And a 30-day waiting period for illnesses. So um, get covered because there is a lag in coverage. All right, guys, so that covers our true opinion talk. I will have more videos on more pet insurance. I think pet insurance is really, really important. And I believe a lot of pet owners are going to start having pet insurance because of how expensive it's becoming to have a pet, unfortunately.